All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Past and Present Safari. This is episode 12. Um, the last episode, of course, is on Animal Genius's channel. Make sure you guys check out his video for his perspective. Uh, the link to his channel will be in the description. Um, so in this uh, video, what I did is I created an exhibit with two different species. I chose spotted hyenas and boar hyena, which I actually originally was it was my intention to use hyena dawn, uh, but I couldn't find it in Animal Genius's downloads. I'm not sure if he has it or not. I might have just been stupid and wasn't able to find it, but I figured this would be a, a decent enough substitute. It's not actually uh, related to hyena anyway. It's actually a prehistoric uh, carnivorous uh, marsupial, uh, but shared the similar name and and look so i thought eh why not it's prehistoric looks a little bit like it it'll work so that's what i went with i actually like the download it's pretty cool um and i really like the way the exhibit turns out you, you guys will see it being finished uh, in a second although i hate that part right there that stupid uh section that wouldn't turn to water for some reason that annoyed me to no end uh, let's see what else to say about this exhibit. It's pretty good size. I'm actually I was a little bit worried that the hyenas and the the boar hyena would try to eat each other, one trying to eat the other, obviously. But didn't have any problems with that, so that was a uh, a relief. And I went into semi desert, even though both animals are uh, in the savanna biome technically. I thought this would be better look a little bit more interesting, more unique. Plus, there's, a, there's plenty of animals we'll be able to put in the savanna. Definitely gonna not, definitely not gonna have to uh, look too hard to find those. So. But I couldn't think of too many good desert animals or semi-desert animals necessarily. So I thought this would be a good idea. Or actually, I don't think I, I don't think I show the map in this episode. Because uh, for you, for those of you who don't know, I pre-record these and then I add the commentary afterwards. But I don't think I show the map. But we're actually getting pretty close to being finished. We've probably filled out three quarters of the zoo, would be my guess, uh, or would be my estimate by looking at it. Um, so there's not that much more to go. We mostly have area in the, the uh, savanna area, I think, left. The wetlands area is almost completely filled out. I'll probably go back to that one next time. Uh, but go ahead and leave your guys' suggestions, as always, for animals to do next uh, in the description. And I'll check those out, <clears throat> as I always do. But for right now, I am kind of leaning towards finishing off the wetlands in the next episode. So if you guys have any ideas, especially for wetlands animals, uh, let me know. And I'd love to do what I can there. I'm having a hard time thinking of good prehistoric wetlands animals off the top of my head, but I'm sure if I look around I'll find something in Animal Genius's downloads. He's got plenty, that's for sure, so I shouldn't have a hard time finding anything that I need. I do like that uh, meat feeder thing, it looks pretty good. I think it's an import from um, Wildlife Park. I'm not positive about that. I think that's what it is, though. Some of the things important from Wildlife Park, I guess it's two or three, I don't remember which one, um, look really good. Some of them look kind of misplaced almost in the, you put them in the Zoo Tycoon game, It's in my opinion. Um, I like to leave a lot of big open areas in this zoo. Just try to keep the foliage around the sides. That way you can definitely see the animals at all times. I believe I put, yeah, I put four of each, two male, two female of each species. They're actually not that big of a size difference. I thought the Borhena would be bigger. If you're actually looking at pictures of actual Borhena, like uh, reconstructions and stuff, Spot Hyena is actually bigger than the Borhena, so I don't know what they were doing there. They always make the Spot Hyena smaller than it actually is, it seems, in games. I'm 
almost finished with this here, just basically finishing the uh, the textures for the biome. I wanted to do a good mixture of tropical savanna and uh, different deserts. And then right now I'm checking out um, the exhibits that Animal Genius made in his video. He did uh, two exhibits that are side by side, one for um, Smilodons and the other for uh, African lions, which I thought was a good idea. Definitely something you have to have in a zoo like this. I mean, you can't, if your zoo is savanna safari themed and you don't have, with, you know, modern and prehistoric animals, you gotta have lions and smilodons. There's just no way you can not include those at some point. Yeah. I like the indoor viewing area. I think that's a good idea. I don't, I think that's a different lion than what I have in my downloads. I, was, I know I have a remade lion as well. I don't think it's that one though. I think it's a different one. I can't remember for sure. Might be the same one. I don't, I don't think it is though. Anyway, now we're checking out uh, the exhibit I just made to get to see what it looks like. I like this fence because it creates a good barrier but you can still see through it and I wanted to put the little moat to keep the guests from getting too close as you see things like that quite often in real zoos it's one of my favorite probably quite possibly my favorite download actually is that spotted height you know because as you, for those of you who don't know, Spotting is definitely my favorite uh, carnivore, for sure. And I love that the uh, I love the design on the this particular download. It looks really good. I think they nailed it. Um, it's cool they have the striped hyena in the base game, but I kind of wish they had done, gone with the spotted hyena like in the old game. Anyway, this is gonna be in the episode here, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out Animal Genius's uh, next episode, which will be on his channel. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.